Welcome to Lofty Pursuits and Public Displays of Confection in Tallahassee, Florida, where we make hard candy. Near the end of 2016, we started getting close to having 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. YouTube celebrated this by sending us a plaque for 100,000 subscribers, and we're going to celebrate this by making some YouTube candy and by doing a box opening of our plaque. So while we pour our candy onto our candy cooling table and add the food coloring and eventually cut it and mix the temperatures together so we have a nice even temperature, let's talk about this cool plaque and the 100,000 subscribers of which hopefully you are one. You know, I've been really humbled by the response on these candy videos. You know, I made them kind of on a lark. I kind of wanted to preserve the technique, talk about what I wanted to talk about about candy making, which I find fascinating and I hope you do too. And I was really surprised to find people wanted to watch and the viewership went up and we broke a million views with one video and I thought, this is it. I can't make any more of these. And then people wanted more and I've been making them. So as I pull the white sugar, I want to thank you for making this so much fun. I've been getting tremendous letters. I have people visit all the time. I love having people visit. And I've been having people enjoy what I make and pride of creation is something which I think everybody enjoys. But sometimes it's fun also to have tangible measures of success and when the box with the plaque in it came, I almost didn't wait to open it before I set up the cameras. YouTube sure packed it well in a box in a box and I pulled out the great YouTube box and I was just waiting for this. The anticipation I was feeling was so thick I could practically cut it with a knife. And to share this feeling of anticipation with you, I'm gonna pull some more white candy. Even the box is gorgeous and well-designed, and when we open it, we find a letter from YouTube congratulating all of us on achieving the 100,000 subscribers. And then, there's the plaque under it. Wait a second, this isn't how a candy maker should do a reveal. We need to do this right. We need to do this in sugar. I'm going to get some white candy, and I'm going to get some red candy, and let's make something to have fun with. And now, the candy maker's reveal. Thanks to all of you for subscribing, because this reward belongs to you as much as it belongs to me, and it's going on the wall at Lofty Pursuits. But now I still have to make the YouTube button candy. We're going to build this design from the inside out. I'm going to start with a little triangle in the center of the play button. Since triangles want to go round, I'm going to pad it out and make it a square with little triangles of red candy. Now that we have a center that's square, we're going to build it out in rectangular blocks. This is just going to make it easier to keep it square and not let the image distort before we roll it in the candy. Since this award gives us a reason to celebrate, we're going to have a YouTube party sort of at Lofty Pursuits. On May 13, 2017 at 1 p.m., we're going to be making a batch of candy just like this. And we'll be making candy until 5 or 6 that day. If you're in Tallahassee, we do invite you to come in and visit us. If you're not in Tallahassee, we'll try to shoot a video of it and show it to you later. I prep my white wrap and my outer wrap, and all that's left to do is for me to combine these and build the log. If you can't make it to Tallahassee, please watch our other videos, and of course you can go to our website www.pd.net, and you can buy this candy for yourself. This design will be available online for about a month, a very limited time in 2017, so please grab it while you can. If I haven't said so, it's cherry flavored. Now we have to be gentle, and through heat control and just gentle even pressure, we scale the candy down from about six inches in diameter to about a three quarters of an inch in diameter. And we want to do this with the minimal distortion of the image. When we stretch the candy from the size of our log into a rod, what we're doing, among other things, not only making it a bite-sized piece, is we're increasing the ratio of surface area to center mass. The thicker part, obviously, doesn't cool as fast, and once it thins down, it cools pretty quickly and will eventually uh, turn rock hard and hold its shape. When we cut the candy like this, we're often asked about the scissors. You see, we're cutting it with the scissors, but the wrong end of the scissors. And this is one of the beautiful things about candy making. This candy behaves as a non-Newtonian fluid. In other words, with gentle pressure, it flows evenly. This lets us stretch out the design. But when hit with a sharp pressure, it behaves like a solid and it shatters. And that lets us cut the candy. 
You see these scissors here are just a big massive object that do a great job of shattering the candy at just the perfect point for us to cut it into even lengths. And until it substantially cools, we have to roll the candy, or it too will be pulled by the gentle force of gravity and become very not round. You might even call it flat. And all that's left is for us to cut it on our little anvil. And enjoy the cherry candy, and thank you again for the YouTube award. Please subscribe to us here on YouTube. We need a million subscribers to get to the next level, and we very quickly got to 140,000 subscribers when this video was made. Or like us on Facebook, or Twitter, or Instagram, and of course, if you're in town, we hope we see you on the 13th at 1 p.m. of May 2017, and we'll be making more of this candy and giving some out to everybody, and uh, just having a little get-together with us making candy and you hopefully being there to enjoy yourself. Thank you for coming. Please check out our website at www.pd.net. And please, take a look at some of our other videos that we have here. I hope you'll enjoy them too. Thank you again.